Well, good afternoon. My name is Matt Bowen, and here, we're here to deposit, or we're, we're here to demonstrate Express Deposit with Deposit Shield, a remote deposit capture solution for consumers and small businesses with built-in fraud detection capabilities. With more and more financial institutions focused on core deposits, we felt like we had an opportunity to allow consumers to make deposits using technology that was readily available in their homes. After they make a deposit, Deposit Shield then screens those checks for fraud. FIS was the first IT provider to have a consumer remote deposit solution in nationwide production. With our expertise in fraud detection and fraud prevention, we knew that to, to bring this technology mainstream, we had to make it easy for the consumer and safe for the financial institution. What resulted is the integration of a brand new delivery channel with a proven fraud detection solution. For financial institutions, Express Deposit provides three distinct benefits. First, it's a brand new delivery channel. It's something that consumers can use to make deposits. It gets deposits in faster to their financial institution. Second, it differentiates from other financial institutions. And finally, it mitigates risk when it's combined with Deposit Shield, one of the most powerful fraud detection tools in the market. Now, let's, let's go ahead and look at the uh, technology that the consumer will use to make a deposit. Let's say that I'm self-employed and I've received a check and now I need to make a deposit. I could go to a branch, but that's not very convenient, and so I go ahead and log on to my online banking system and click on the Make a Deposit function. As you can see here, we have a very easy to use application. It's very simple for the end user, but the added benefit is it's easy for the financial in institution to support because there's very few calls from consumers with questions. I'm going to go ahead and select my account. Here, I can key in a description of the transaction. That's optional, or I can just key in the uh, check itself. What will happen next is our application will scan the PC to find out what type of scanner is attached. Here I've got a smart source micro. The next step is I'm going to go ahead and scan my check. What we have here is an example for the consumer of what we want the check to look like once they scan it in. So if we can pan the camera over here. Right now I'm scanning the check into the application. It will be added to our database. It will then present to the end user, go ahead and if you can bring up my PC, uh, it will present to the end user and they'll see the image of the check online. If everything looks okay, they can go ahead and submit their deposit. That's all they have to do. The next thing will happen is that the, uh, the financial institution will process the item and I'll receive confirmation via email uh, that, that confirms my deposit. What happens in the background? What happens in the back office? I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Alan, Aaron Calipari and he'll walk us through what happens with Deposit Shield. Thanks, Matt. For those of you unfamiliar with the fraud statistics, deposit fraud ranks as the number one loss category for financial institutions for their DDA accounts. Majority, if not all of those losses come from consumer and small business accounts, the direct target market for this type of service. Anybody see a potential conflict in interest there? Uh, what we've been able to do is integrate Deposit Shield with a service like this to provide banks the safety and the precautionary measures to mitigate their risk. Anytime you're dealing with deposit fraud, you really have two dimensions of risk you need to evaluate, both the risk of the item as well as the account those funds are being deposited into. Deposit Shield will evaluate both dimensions. At the end of every day, what we'll do is aggregate all of the day's deposits together, run it through Deposit Shield, and issue um, an alert file back to the financial institution. What you see here on the screen is, a, is an alert um, that happens to be generated on Matt's transaction. What we see here is everything is grouped together in what we call a work unit ID. It provides me all the context data that I'm going to need to make my decision on if I should approve or hold those funds. Uh, the work unit also provides a risk score. The risk score assesses the likelihood that that account is going to go to loss for the financial institution, so one of those dimensions. I can drill down a little bit here and see, get some more context on why Matt scored a 248. The score works similar to a credit score, and the lower the score, the higher the risk. 
He scored a 248 because he keeps some relatively low average balances. He has an NSF and overdraft history and a relatively young relationship date. Also, it can drill down a little bit further and see that his current deposit amount deviates from the historical norm. He's depositing about 365% above what he normally does. So we've got a little bit of a higher risk account activity going on here. Next, we'll take a look at the risk on the item itself. Um, you remember that check for $1,985 that Matt deposited? Well, that's showing up on our database as an account closed. I can drill down here as well and get some details around that routing and account number specifically. I can see Matt has no prior history, both on this deposit account as well as his other accounts. The bank history is very minimal, and the total deposit shield network history is minimal as well, with one check being returned very recently for account closed. I'm going to go ahead and place a got a high-risk deposit going into a high-risk account. I'm going to go ahead and place a funds hold, most likely, on this account uh, to protect the bank. Obviously, if you're going to be running a profitable and successful remote deposit capture program, you're going to have to mitigate those risks. And that's what Deposit Shield is doing, really helping you and making it safe for financial institutions to offer this type of service. Deposits are, of course, the lifeblood of any financial institution. Remote deposit removes many of the barriers associated with bringing in deposits faster. In addition, you can gather deposits from a much, much wider area than you can through your branch network. Provide, by providing access to this new platform with the built-in security and structure that financial institutions need in order to offer this service, Express Deposit with Deposit Shield has the power to speed up deposits and availability for consumers while at the same time minimizing the risk for the financial institution. This combination of powerful, low-cost self-service delivery channel with fraud, inbuilt fraud detection and prevention is truly the key to driving this new technology out into the hands of more consumers. Thank you, and please stop by our, our table for more information.